History of the Baltimore Colts, Wikipedia article audio. National Football League Royal Blue, White Franchise History AAFC Baltimore Colts League Championships Conference Championships Division Championships The professional American football franchise currently known as the Indianapolis Colts was originally based in Baltimore, Maryland as the Baltimore Colts from 1953 to 1984. Named in honor of Baltimore's history of horse breeding and racing at Pimlico Race Course, this was the second incarnation of the Baltimore Colts after the first one played from 1947 to 1950 in the old All-America Football Conference for three years and moved to the National Football League with a few other AAFC teams after the 1949 merger, but playing only one season. The 1953A Euro 83 Baltimore Colts team played its home games at Memorial Stadium on 33rd Street during its entire tenure in Baltimore before the franchise relocated to Indianapolis, Indiana, in March 1984. The Baltimore Colts were one of the first NFL teams to have cheerleaders, a marching band and a team fight song. The Baltimore Colts were named after Baltimore's 142-year-old annual Preakness Stakes, a premier thoroughbred horse racing event, second jewel of the famous Triple Crown Championship Series of the sport run at the historic Pimlico race course since 1873. This third, most famous Baltimore Colts pro football franchise was officially created in 1953 but can trace its history much earlier than that, to before the NFL itself actually began in 1920, its earliest predecessor was the old Dayton Triangles, a founding member of the reorganized and renamed National Football League of 1922, that was originally created in 1913. Because of the link to the ancient Dayton Triangles, the Baltimore Colts can arguably claim to have played and won, on October 3, 1920, what could be considered the very first A.P.F.A.N.F.L. professional football game, with a 14-0 defeat of the rival Columbus Panhandles at Triangle Park in Dayton, Ohio. The team went through the following changes. NFL Dallas Texans as the result of a fan contest in Baltimore, won by Charles Evans of Middle River in suburban eastern Baltimore County, the team was renamed the Baltimore Colts. On September 7, 1947, wearing the green and silver uniforms, the Colts, under head coach Cecil Espel, won their initial All-America Football Conference game in the A.A.F.C.S. second season, 1-6-A Euro 7, over the Brooklyn Dodgers. Home site for the new AAFC games in the monumental city was the old 1922 Municipal Stadium on the north side of 33rd Street Boulevard in northeast Baltimore later renovated and rebuilt with an upper tier added the following year for use also by the new American League of Major League Baseball's relocated franchise, the Baltimore Orioles. The football team concluded its inaugural season before a record Baltimore crowd of 51,583 by losing to the New York Yankees, 2-1 a Euro 7. The Colts finished with a 2A Euro 1-1A Euro 1 record, good for a fourth-place finish in the Eastern Division of the AAFC. The Colts completed the 1948 season with a 7A Euro 8 record, tying the Buffalo Bills for the division title. The Colts compiled a 1A Euro 11 mark in their third season of 1949. Y.A. Tittle later to gain additional Hall of Fame status a decade later with the NFL's New York Giants was the Colts' starting quarterback. 
After four years of interleague rivalry, competition, and player contract rating, the AAFC and NFL merged in 1950, and the Colts joined the reorganized new NFL, along with the San Francisco 49 ERS and the Cleveland Browns. After posting a 1A Euro 11 record for the second consecutive year, the NFL franchise of just one season was dissolved by the league on January 18, 1951. But many Baltimore fans protested the loss of their team and continued to support the marching band and fan club, both of which remained in operation and worked for the team's revival. In Baltimore After two seasons without professional football, NFL Commissioner Burt Bell, challenged the city of Baltimore under Mayor Thomas L. J. D. Alessandro, Jr., in December 1952 to sell 15,000 season tickets within six weeks in order to re-enter the NFL. That 15,000 ticket quota was reached in just four weeks and three days. On January 23, 1953, with the encouragement of the city's civic and business leadership, under the principal ownership of Carol Rosenblum, the NFL sold Dallas Texans franchise to Baltimore where, keeping the Colts nickname, the Texans team colors of blue and white were inherited. This is the franchise that exists today in Indianapolis in the modern National Football League. In 1953, the second incarnation of the Baltimore Colts took the field for the first time ever at Memorial Stadium, on September 27 to face off against the Chicago Bears. The Colts would go on to win the game 1-3 a Euro 9 and stun the Bears. The team's lack of experience showed as the team finished 3 a Euro 9. In 1955, the Colts had 12 rookies make the team. In 1956, quarterback George Shaw went down with a serious injury in the fourth game of the season. The Colts' unproven backup, Johnny Unitas, would go on to win half the remaining eight games to give the Colts a record of 5 a Euro 7 for the season. The Colts won their first NFL championship in 1958. The 1958 NFL Championship game is widely known as the greatest game ever played for its dramatic conclusion with quarterback Johnny Unitas marching the Colts downfield in sudden death overtime and Alan Amich scoring the winning touchdown on a one-yard run. Much of the credit for Baltimore's success went to Hall of Famers Johnny Unitas, halfback Lenny Moore, and wide receiver Raymond Berry. 1953 A Euro 1967, The Johnny Unitas Era Following the Colts' first NFL championship, the team once again posted a 9 A Euro 3 record during the 1959 season and once again defeated the Giants in the NFL championship game to claim their second title in back-to-back -back fashion. Following the two championships in 1958 and 1959, the Colts did not return to the NFL championship for four seasons and saw a transition from head coach Eubank to a young Don Shula in 1963. In Shula's second season the Colts compiled a 1-2-A Euro 2 record, but lost 2-7-A Euro 0 to the Cleveland Browns in the NFL championship. In 1965 the Colts played the Green Bay Packers in a playoff to determine who would go to the NFL championship game. The Colts were leading 10-7 over the Green Bay Packers with two minutes left to play when the Packers kicker, Don Chandler seemed to barely miss a field goal. The referee called it good however, and the Packers went on to win the game in overtime. The error precipitated changes to the rules, the NFL decided two referees would judge future field goals, and that the uprights should be raised by 10 feet. 
In 1968 the Colts returned with the continued leadership of Unitas and Shula and went on to win the Colts' third NFL championship and made an appearance in Super Bowl III. In 1968, Unitas was injured and replaced by Earl Morrall who became the league's MVP. 1968 A Euro 1972, Merger and Super Bowl V Leading up to the Super Bowl and following the 3-4 A Euro 0 trouncing of the Cleveland Browns in the NFL Championship, many were calling the 1968 Colts team one of the greatest pro football teams of all time and were favored by 18 points against their counterparts from the American Football League, the New York Jets. The Colts, however, were stunned by the Jets who won the game 1-6 A Euro 7 in the first Super Bowl victory for the young AFL. The result of the game surprised many in the sports media as Joe Namath and Matt Snell led the Jets to the Super Bowl victory under head coach Wee Bubunk, who had previously won two NFL championships with the Colts. 1972 A Euro 1976, Bob Beersay arrives. Rosenblum of the Colts, Art Modale of the Browns, and Art Rooney of the Pittsburgh Steelers agreed to have their teams join the 10 AFL teams in the American Football Conference as part of the AFL Euro NFL merger in 1970. The Colts immediately went on a rampage in the new league, as new head coach Don McCafferty led the 1970 team to an 1 1 A Euro 2 A Euro 1 regular season record winning the AFC East title. In the first round of the NFL playoffs, the Colts beat the Cincinnati Bengals 1-7 A Euro 0, one week later in the first ever AFC Championship game, they beat the Oakland Raiders 2-7 A Euro 17. Baltimore went on to win the first post-merger Super Bowl defeating the National Football Conference's Dallas Cowboys 1-6 A Euro 13 on a Jim O'Brien field goal with five seconds left to play. The victory gave the Colts their fourth NFL championship and first Super Bowl victory. Following the championship, the Colts returned to the playoffs in 1971, winning their opening playoff game against the Browns 20-3 but lost in the second AFC Championship game in Miami 21-0. Citing friction with the city of Baltimore and the local press, Rosenblum traded the Colts franchise to Robert Irzay on July 13, 1972 and received the Los Angeles Rams in return. Under the new ownership, the Colts did not reach the postseason for three consecutive seasons after 1971, and after the 1972 season, starting quarterback and legend Johnny Unitas was traded to the San Diego Chargers. Following Unitas' departure, the Colts made the playoffs three consecutive seasons from 1975 to 1977, losing in the divisional round each time. The Colts' 1977 playoff loss in double overtime against the Oakland Raiders was famous for the fact that it was the last playoff game for the Colts in Baltimore and is also known for the ghost to the post play. These consecutive championship teams featured 1976 NFL Most Valuable Player Burt Jones at quarterback and an outstanding defensive line, nicknamed the Sack Pack. 1976 A Euro 1983, Last Days of the Baltimore Colts Following this relative success in the 1970s, the Colts suffered a string of disappointing seasons, often finishing in last place in their division. Attendance began to dwindle in the early 1970s and remained that way for the rest of the team's tenure in Baltimore. The Colts would endure nine consecutive losing seasons beginning in 1978. In 1981, the Colts' defense allowed an NFL record 533 points, set an all-time record for fewest sacks, 
and also set a modern record for fewest punt returns. The following year, the offense collapsed, including a game against the Buffalo Bills where the Colts' offense did not cross midfield the entire game. The Colts finished 0-A-0-8-A-0-1 Euro Euro in the strike-shortened 1982 season, thereby earning the right to select Stanford quarterback John Elway with the first overall pick. Elway, however, refused to play for Baltimore, and using leverage as a draftee of the New York Yankees baseball club, forced a trade to Denver. Behind an improved defense the team finished 7A Euro 9 in 1983, but that would be their last season in Baltimore. The city of Indianapolis, Indiana, made an offer for the Colts franchise to move there. Baltimore was unsuccessful at persuading them to stay, so the city government attempted to get the state legislature to condemn the Colts franchise and give ownership to another group that would promise to keep the Colts in Baltimore. Oakland California had just had some success in court trying the same tactic with the Oakland Raiders. Under the threat of eminent domain from the city of Baltimore, the franchise relocated to Indianapolis in the middle of the night on March 29, 1984. The city of Baltimore did not give up and sued to condemn the franchise anyway and seize ownership. Baltimore did not prevail in court but eventually acquired a new NFL team in 1996 with the establishment of the Baltimore Ravens following the Cleveland Browns relocation controversy. The NFL treats the Baltimore Colts and the Indianapolis Colts as one continuous franchise from 1953 to the present. Despite this, some former Baltimore Colts players, led by Johnny Unitas, disowned the Colts franchise after the move to Indianapolis, instead choosing to remain loyal to the city of Baltimore. These former players embraced the new Baltimore Ravens franchise when it arrived in Baltimore in 1996. The Ravens responded by adding some of these players to the Baltimore Ravens Ring of Honor. The Ravens officially have no retired numbers but out of respect for Unitas, only quarterback Scott Mitchell has worn the number 19, which he did in his lone season in Baltimore in 1999. The Baltimore Colts marching band, which continued to operate after the Colts moved, became Baltimore's marching Ravens. On the other hand, there have been many former Baltimore Colts players who have embraced the franchise as continuous, from Baltimore to Indianapolis. In 2009, Jim Irsay held a reunion of his favorite Colts team ever, the 1975 AFC East champions. 39 of the 50 players on that roster attended the reunion at Lucas Oil Stadium, including quarterback Burt Jones and running back Lydell Mitchell. Also, on February 5, 2012, at Super Bowl XLVI, Hall of Fame Baltimore Colts wide receiver Raymond Berry carried the Vince Lombardi Trophy to midfield to present it to the New York Giants, who had just defeated the New England Patriots. He was given the honor due the game being played at Lucas Oil Stadium, the home stadium of his former team, the Colts, who had moved to Indianapolis in 1984. Although the retired numbers of the Indianapolis Colts officially includes Unitas and others dating back to the Baltimore days, the Indianapolis Colts Ring of Honor currently only includes players who have played in Indianapolis with the exception of Chris Hinton, who played for the Baltimore Colts in his rookie season in 1983. Move to Indianapolis Includes players that only played in Baltimore. Baltimore Colts vs. Indianapolis Colts Western Conference, Coastal Division NFL Championships 
1958, 1959, 1968. Records All time records Retired numbers Pro Football Hall of Famers NFL Western, 1958, 1959, 1964, 1968, AFC, 1970 NFL Coastal, 1968 AFC East, 1970, 1975, 1976, 1977 A Euro A Euro does not include the AFL or NFL championships won during the same seasons as the AFL Euro NFL Super Bowl championships prior to the 1970 AFL Euro NFL merger. Notes Dayton Triangle's pro football team relocated to New York City to the borough of Brooklyn, New York, and was renamed Brooklyn Dodgers in 1930, changed name to Brooklyn Tigers in 1944. In the same year, the Boston Yanks are founded, merged with Boston Yanks in 1945 as the World War II era wartime the Yanks. Brooklyn franchise cancelled in 1945 by the league and the team's players were given to the Boston Yanks, as a parallel team, the is founded by the Tigers' former owner, Dan Topping, Miami Seahawks of the AAFC are folded and replaced in the conference's second season by a new franchise in Baltimore given the name of the Colts after a name selection contest among the new Baltimore fans. The Colts later joined the reorganized NFL. In 1950, following the merger of the AAFC with the older league, along with the addition of Team San Francisco 49 ERS and the Cleveland Browns, this second Baltimore Colts franchise was later dissolved by the NFL for financial reasons after only the 1 1950 season on January 18, 1951. Boston Yanks were cancelled upon request of the team owner for tax purposes. The owner was given a new franchise for New York City in 1949, now named the New York Bulldogs. The name was then changed to the New York Yanks the following season in 1950. The Yanks absorbed much of the previous football Yankees roster the next year. New York Yanks of the NFL were cancelled after the 1-1951 season and replaced in 1952 by the Dallas Texans, with the first expansion of the league into high school and collegiate football Crazy Texas and first into the southern part of the United States, Texans owner returned the team leadership to the league ownership of the NFL during midseason. The Texans become a road team halfway through the 1952 season with no home base, playing only away games and folded after the 1-1952 season, Dallas Texans franchise was sold to Baltimore Civic and Sports Interests led by Carol Rosenblum on January 23, 1953 where a new team was established resurrecting the previous well-liked Colts nickname. They however replaced the old AAFC-NFL team colors of silver and green with the Texans team colors of blue and white. <laughs>